when you start at the eye. Okay, so just put down a layer of thread until you align with the point. Now I've got some crystal flash and pearl here, two strands. And you line them up, tie them on and away down with the thread itself. This saves bulk. Just work your way down. Up to this point here. Now you could protect that. I've got some fine silver wire, and I mean really fine. This is like a, an extra small UTC. And basically this is going to be protect the pedal rib. Just tie it on the side. A couple of turns. For the body, you could use the thread itself if you didn't want anything else. Or, which I'm going to use here, is some nice fine seals for. Now what I'm going to do here is come up, maybe 2 or 3 mil, and then put on my body material. I don't mind too much if I, some of the, when I'm tying in, say that wire rib, you'll not see it. But take your time, but don't put a lot on. The thread, starting like that at the back, helps to form a taper in the fly. Just work your way up. Take your time. Until you're in line with the point of the hook once you let the thread go. Like that, see, it's in line with the point. And then what I'm going to do is bring the pedal rib the opposite way that I actually wind things on, like my thread and everything else. It's the weakest fibre, just bring up through, just take your time, all the way up, cross your thread. Now, I do a turn on top of the pedal and then one on top of the hook. Basically that locks it in. Now I'm not going to cut them off just now. I cut off maybe a wee bit, I leave maybe about an inch. And I use that as part of the wing. Then, using the fine wire, wind it the normal way, bring it up through, which helps to protect it. Again, tie it down. Two or three turns, and I just fold it back. So fine. You can do that. Very strong, this wire. There we go. Now, there's two strands for the crystal flash there. What I'm going to do is fold these both back, and one in each side of the hook. Just to the back now, trim. That's your length. Now I've got three CDC plumes here. Just a natural grey. Now I line them up, all curving the same way. Now what I do then is I pull some back. Some of the fluff or the fibres at the top, pull them back and then pull these tight. Pull them in, nice and tight, and then hold them on top, and do a turn or two. Tie them in, just like that, the curve coming up and away from the hook. The only other way you can do it, if you don't like it that way, still does the same job, is to come in and do a loose turn of thread or two, like this, and pull them into the point where you want to tie them in. You may find that easier, it's up to yourself. Both ends up with the same result, so at this point I would tidy up. Then this is optional and it works extremely well. I've got some pre-tied peasant tools, fibers, the knots. I'm gonna get four. Put two each side. Put them in separately or together. In this case, I'm just going to tie them in together. What I'm doing is putting two each side, bring my finger and thumb in, holding them, do a loose two or three turns, just have a look to see how they're sitting. If you're happy, then you can tighten up. Take away the excess. Again, tie these down. Tidy up. Then get some more of your fur, your seal's fur. Let's get again black. It's optional, a good 
good way of doing something here. Let's have a lack on. Watch the colour of the bibio. Some red, I'll put red on first. Just a touch. This works extremely well. So slide that up. And the black. A couple of turns just to hold. Stretch it out. And then carry on up with the black. Nice and tight. To the eye. Anything going forward, stroke it back. Put down a layer of thread. Bring over your CDC. It's going to form the bubble. What I'm going to do here is pull back all these ends again, like I'd pulled forward at the beginning. So hold the points, pull them towards the back, this will help form the wing. Get the length you like. Now you can have it as long as you like, towards the back, or even shorter. Depends. In this case, I like it probably in line with the barb. So hold what you want is the, the bubble and your finger and thumb. Do like a pinch and loop on top. A good three or four turns. Now I like to lift these fibres. So they're nice and tight. At this point you can tap just to see how they're sitting. That's ideal. Forming that curve for a bubble or a CDC to, to hold the bubble itself. Come in with your scissors, nice and tight. Turn away the waste. Now what I like to do here is pull everything back or anything going forward with the eye, just pull it back with your finger and thumb. Bring your thread to the front. The thread turns into the cut end. What it's practically doing is folding back some of the fibres. It actually helps you to form the head by doing that. Keep the thread nice and tight. And what finish. Turn away the thread. Now all you have to do is to varnish. Just come in. Just to varnish all the way around. And there you are. And that's really a your bibio bubble CDC. It's a major merger. It's very good at the beginning of the season and even throughout. You catch all different sizes, same colour combination right throughout the season.